Well, regardless of who's playing or not playing, this is always a hard place to play. And so uh, <clears throat> guys did a good job. It was, uh, you know, the second quarter was, was ratty and it got frantic and you don't want to get that way on the road, but uh, a good third quarter. And then we, in the fourth, we did enough to get the job done. So it was a, it was a win to, that's, that we needed uh, after three losses. And, uh, you know, a lot of our young guys are doing a lot of good things. What did you think of the performance of Dwayne, and particularly that stretch where I believe he got dunked on, and he comes back and he knocks down two threes and just keeps playing? Uh, he's well, Dwayne, Dwayne Washington. Dwayne, yeah. <clears throat> well, you probably saw what happened. I was I had somebody at the table to sub for me. He hit a three, and the play kept going. And he hit another three, and I sent Chris back, <laughs> and then he hit a third three. And this was in the second quarter when when uh, you know. They had made a run, and then he hits three threes in a row to, to give us a little more separation. Um, you know, Wash is a is a, is, a, is an aggressive player that's fearless um, and unselfish, and uh, you know he he gives himself a chance to get going every night, and 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 generally, you know, he, he does it in a way that is within the team concept and is you know. Um, in the rhythm of the game. And how do you think Isaiah's uh, dunk to start the game, it maybe set the tone for you all going forward? I know you talked a lot this year about playing with force, and that was a forceful play. Well, we get down 6 nothing to start the game, and <clears throat> we had a couple of indifferent possessions. Um, and then that play just kind of set a tone for us that, you know, we were going to be in the paint, attacking the rim, and... Uh, and then we were going to be here, you know, and, and, you know, in the second quarter when things got a little bit out of control, you know, we quit attacking the paint. We started just coming down and taking uh, non-paint touch jump shots, and, and that's that's what gets them going in this building. But, uh, yeah, the opening dunk and the three-point play by Isaiah um, really, you know, was, was a huge play in the game, even though it was very early on. Just to say, just uh, you guys play with a lot of emotion, a lot of fire out there. Was it sort of nice to see you after the tough loss the other night? Just the way that he responded to that. Yeah, and you know it's been a tough year. I mean, we've we've had a lot of stretches where wins have been hard to come by, um, but this has been a resilient group. You know, our young guys are getting a real chance to play. Um, we're showing them individual film virtually every day, trying to get everybody better. I thought a guy that really played exceptionally well tonight was uh, was O'Shea Brissett. I mean, he didn't have gaudy numbers, but he had no turnovers. Um, he played really well within the flow of the game. He had a couple of big loose ball plays, and he's getting more and more mature as a player. And so, I was really happy with uh, really happy for him and how he played. And uh, you know. Tyrese and and uh, and Buddy, you know these guys have been around a little bit. They play together. Um, you know they both had really some really good stretches in the game. We've just got to eliminate some of the kind of wild and crazy turnovers. We've just got a, a, a few too many of those, and, um, and we'll keep looking at them and, and we'll get better. Pat Boylan. Rick, after the way the first half ended, how significant was it to you to reassert yourselves as well as you did in those first few minutes of the third quarter? Talked about it at halftime. You know, we felt like, you know, we could get shots and we could score points against this team. Um, we had gotten a little bit loose defensively, and our offense was hurting us in the second quarter. So, you know, our messaging and the thing we talked about as, as an entire group was, you know, valuing possession of the ball. Um, and doing a better job of protecting the paint. And, uh, you know, we got to get off to a very good start in the quarter offensively and held them to 18 defensively. So so it was a very important stretch in the game. Uh, one more. Tony East, go ahead. Rick, just three fouls for Isaiah Jackson in this game tonight. How much of the has an emphasis and teaching point with him been about fouling and not fouling? What kind of specific skills has he been working on to, to get a little better at that? Well, you know, some of this is just going through it and seeing, you know, what things get called and what things don't get called. Um, you know, the screening fouls, uh, I think, are, are 
are officiated differently in the NBA than they are in college. Um, and so there's an adjustment there. Um, for a slender guy, he likes contact. He likes setting hard screens. He likes creating problems for the defense. And when he gets, when he launches himself, you know, on those rolls to the basket, I mean, it's a, it's a breathtaking thing to see. And so a couple of his fouls were screening fouls. You know, we'll, we'll show them to him. We'll ex explain the rules. Um, and, and he'll continue to get better. Um, you know, his play tonight was, was, really, was really key for us. You know, he, you look at, at, at his points and rebounds, and that, you know, 15 and, and, and 5, um, that's impressive. But, you know, plus 16 on the plus minus, you know, uh, also speaks to the, the value that, that he brought to the game. And so, you know, that, those are all winning numbers. Isaiah, um, what do you think your dunk to start the game did for the team, uh, maybe set the tone? Uh, I feel like it gave us a lot of energy. Uh, I feel like after that, I was like the momentum uh, switcher, sort of. Like everybody was just having fun, sort of, in a way. Like uh, Dwayne got a dunk right after. Uh, it was crazy. Uh, yeah, I just felt like it was a big momentum, momentum switcher. So it was real, real fun. How comfortable do you feel dunking with either hand? I think that was with left hand. <laughs> I was just talking to some of the guys in the locker room. I, I haven't. I don't think I caught a body yet with my right hand yet. And, it's usually my left hand, but I, mean, I know I can do it with my right hand. But I mean, I mean, I think it's a skill that I, I mean, I think I was born with uh, just knowing how to just go with both hands uh, and ducking the ball and just being being me with both hands. So. I know Dwayne didn't catch a body, but he yeah. did catch a really big dunk. Um, what do you think of his performance tonight? Nineteen points in the first half. He uh, he came out on fire. Uh, it was a play where he. Uh, Somebody got a dunk. Uh, he came down, hit three threes, straight uh, back to back to back. Uh, and I feel like that was really like a momentum, a momentum changer after that. Like, and, I mean, that just shows like uh, that. I mean, we just on to the next, on to the next play. Whatever happened last play, don't worry about it. Just keep going. Uh, and, uh, that's a testament to his game too. Uh, he just, just keeps balling no matter what. Okay, so can you explain? Oh, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Um, can you explain the, the the dust up between you and Zach Collins? Like what transpired? Uh, I mean, he was doing cheap stuff the whole game. Uh, I didn't say anything to the ref. I didn't say anything to him. Uh, then after I dunked on him, uh, I did taunt a little bit. Uh, then, I mean, for the rest of the game, he was just doing cheap stuff, cheap stuff. Then when I went for the layup, he kicked me uh, in the groin, groin area. Uh, uh, and then we just, I mean, just was had a couple words, got teed up. Uh, I mean, but I mean, I think it's a part of the game. Just, I mean. I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna talk trash, regardless uh, if I'm playing bad, playing good. But I mean, at the same time, uh, I mean, I feel like it was ball on both ends. So yeah. After such a tough loss the other night, was how important was it for y'all just to keep your foot on the gas the whole the whole game? Uh, yeah, we really needed this win. Uh, to be honest, uh, like you said, last game was a close game that we should have got. Uh, but I mean, we just came out with that mindset that uh, we was gonna come out and try to try to try to win. Uh, we knew how to, we had them on a back to back, so I mean, we knew they was gonna let up, uh, and we just kept the foot on the gas and just kept going. Thank you. Uh, Pat, go ahead. Isaiah, the pick and roll with you and Tyrese was especially effective tonight. How does his skill set kind of help you in those situations, and how do you feel like your skill set aids him? Uh, I feel like it's uh, it helps. I feel like both skill set helps a lot uh, with each other. Uh, with me, my uh, lob threat ability, uh, and also my pick and, pick and roll ability, uh, him just getting downhill, making the right passes, uh, scoring, like, uh, and I feel like it's real, it's hard to stop stop that. Uh, I mean, it's gonna continue to keep growing. We're gonna keep getting that chemistry uh, and it's gonna get better. But for the most part, I feel like it's, I mean, working, working together. Can you take us through the second quarter, um, you know, I believe you got dunked on Dwayne, but then you came back and, and had three straight threes. And uh, just talk about, I guess, the resiliency. Can, can you explain just the resiliency in that? Oh, yeah, man. It happens, man. Like, it's part of the game. Um, you know, I'm, I'm trying to make plays and be where I'm supposed to be and, you know, be the same guy every night. So uh, he made a good play, and I got to be there a little earlier. Um, but, yeah, man, just uh, keep keep going. Just keep pushing. Um, ups and downs and games, uh, runs, basketball is a game of runs. So, I just believe in myself and uh, my team has put me in good positions to, to make something happen.
Nick, you take us through your dunk. Um, I kind of tease you before every game, you know, you got to get one. Yeah. Um, what was that play like? And how do you think that play, uh, you know, Isaiah's dunk, just helped set the tone for the game? For sure. Um, just being aggressive, uh, you know, down the stretch um, in, that, in that second quarter, uh, we'll emphasize getting to the paint. Um, and, and your buddy uh, had a great uh, blur out uh, screen and, and it caused some confusion. Um, and I just got downhill and, and the lane was open. So I just uh, took off and uh, the bench was definitely hyped. Um, I was hyped as well. So it was, it was great momentum. Um, those kind of plays definitely can, you know, uplift your team and, and keep that um, energy uh, going for the next few possessions. And we just built on it and kept, kept rolling. Good. Pat, go ahead. Dwayne, you've hit 12 threes in the last four games. Is that kind of ebb and flow of the season for you? You've gotten hot after a period where you were struggling, or is there something um, that has elevated your play, your shot recently? Yeah, I think I, I think uh, just, you know, being familiar with the guys and, um, you know, continuing to, to, to build with them chemistry. Um, you know, this, this still hasn't been uh, uh, I think it's still under 20 games with, with, with these guys, under 15 games with, with the new guys. And uh, we're just continuing to build, believing in each other at a high level. Um, you know, all of us are, are playing some good basketball. Uh, we're just trying to <clears throat> put, put put good days together, win basketball games and uh, playing the right way, playing patience basketball. So um, we're just going to continue to do that and uh, appreciate the, the team and the fellas, coaches believing in me and, and uh, as well as me believing in them. So.